found out that I was intersex around 17, genetically male, I had XY chromosomes, but my body rejects the hormones, so everything just becomes female from the outside, and it's kind of magical, right? Hello, I'm Hannah Gabby, and I'm a model and intersex activist. Intersex is a broad term. Nearly 2% of the babies are born with reproductive or sex autonomy that doesn't seem to fit typical binary definition of male or female. That's what intersex means. I knew little bits and pieces growing up, like my parents told me I couldn't have babies when I was about 10 years old, but that was the only information they had as well. And then I found out the truth when I was 17, going to a Dutch teen magazine that was describing the situation of an intersex girl. So it was like, ooh. It sounds like me. It actually helped my confidence knowing that I wasn't the only one anymore or that I wasn't just a freak. I met other people and they were really nice, normal people. And then two weeks after, a scout came up to me and asked me, oh, do you want to be a model? And I'm still here 12 years later. <laughs> My parents were always taught not to tell anyone about anything. My doctor then told me that as well, just don't tell anyone, no one will understand you, you'll never find anybody to love you, like this whole thing. So I was like, okay, at least I have other people I can talk to that have it. But after a few years, it starts to weigh on you and you want to tell it. So that's why I'm doing my mission now and want to tell the world and say it's okay to be intersex and there's nothing wrong with it. My husband was one of the first ones of my friend group that knew. It was very easy to tell him somehow. We were already long-time friends. Then I had a lovely group of friends that I told like shortly after, and it was never really a problem for anybody. The first surgery I actually know of was when I was 10 years old. They took away my testes, but it has a lot of complications. They usually say they take them out because it can cause cancer, but it's actually the same percentage of like, I wouldn't cut any woman's breasts off because she might get breast cancer in the future. It's the same kind of like, you don't do it to men too. I think the surgeries are done mostly out of fear for non-binary bodies and it needs to stop. Most of the surgeries are actually, have way more bad consequences, like early menopause, loss of senses down there, the list goes on. That's also why I actually came out a 13 year old girl. I had a surgery two years before and she had an early stage of osteoporosis because of the surgery. And it's like, oh my God, these things are still happening. It needs to stop right now because it's, it's not good. Now that I came out, like I have so many great reactions from the community, from parents. I had this lovely message of these parents that told me that they just found out they have an intersex child and they're not going to do surgeries until the child is old enough. That was one of my proudest moments to hear that um, and I cried a little. The more people that can talk openly about it, I hope it becomes something that's more normalized. It's not that crazy, it's not that weird. Uh, we're not freaky. By normalizing it, those surgeries won't happen anymore. Intersex doesn't have to be who you are. It can just be a small part of your identity. It's not the end of the world. And it's quite special once you give into it and accept it. I'm Hannah and I'm proud.